Hi, my name is Lori. I'm a Gemini and I do tarot. So I'm going to do a reading. This is going to be for my air signs. It's going to be Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is going to be for August 15th through the 31st, 2018. This is a general reading for all air signs, okay? So of course, check your sun, moon, and rising, you know, and uh, this is not going to apply for all, you know, you know, for all signs, you know, it's just picking up certain energies, you know, millions of people on this fucking planet, you know, the drill, apply, you know, select what applies to you, throw away what doesn't, yada, 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 yada. Okay. So this is going to be for Aquarius, signs of Aquarius, and then Gemini, which I always think of uh, Macklemore. You know, his album, Gemini. Be like, Gemini. So. And then, uh, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. So. Hold on. Okay. So, this is going to be a reading for my air signs. Reading for my air signs. So, what's going on? So. Signs of Aquarius. Signs of Aquarius. Yes, I sing off key, but I do not give a fuck. So let's get it. Okay. So my message for August 15th to the 31st, 2018. What do you have? What do you have here? Because the line is drawn here. Come on. Okay. Let me go ahead. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Come on. Air signs. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. August 15th. 31st. 2018. Okay. 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 Interesting energy. Okay. Aquarius. See what's going on here. Okay. There. Now what we have here is first we have the Queen of Chalices reverse. So a cancer may have done you wrong. Or, you know, or a water sign. It could be a uh, a Pisces or a Scorpio. But usually this is a Cancer energy, how I take it. So we have this water sign that did you wrong, that betrayed you in some way. I don't feel like it was like a... Betrayal as in they had an affair and cheated. I think this is like hiding, lying, or deception. Something about money, something about family. Maybe a spouse trying to hide financial stuff. Or it could be yourself. You finding out financial stuff. And now you're stressing and anxiety and you're worrying and you can't sleep at night. And because I also got the Ten of Pentacles reverse and then I got the Nine of Swords. It 
Yeah, this person is cold, cut off. They're like, it's like ghosting energy. Like this person's not even talking to you. They're not even acknowledging you or you're not even talking to them or acknowledging them. It's like when they try to text you, you know, the response is K. That's what it is. So, hold on, let me try to light some more sage. So I'm going to go ahead and get some clarifications. So for Aquarius, can I get clarification on... I'm going to go ahead and get clarification on the Queen of Chalices. On why you're worrying. Of like, what did this person do to make you start worrying and stressing? And then I'm going to go ahead and get a clarification for the Ten of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and get clarification. So for Aquarius, what is the clarification for the Queen of Chalices reverse? Why is Aquarius or why is uh, the Aquarius made this Cancer or whomever this way? Let's get that clarification. And then for the Ten of Pentacles too. Okay. Okay. Huh. I may need to get another clarification. Okay, obviously, financial. I feel like some of it is bound, like it could be somebody may be battling with depression, either yourself or maybe your spouse is dealing with depression. Maybe there's postpartum depression that's going on. Um, but I do feel like things are kind of going in the right track. But maybe there are things in your head that's making you wonder whether if it's uh, worth it or if things are going to get better. Like if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get clarification. Things are going at the right place slowly but surely. But right now there is no decision being made. So we have the eight of swords. There's no decision being made. You're just kind of thinking things through and you need to get more information, but you're definitely losing sleep. We have the two of pentacles reverse. You're unbalanced. Let me try to get clarification on what decision, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Definitely a lot of lying going on. This person is like a snake, like Taylor Swift. Person's ruthless. But this person's a charmer. This person's a charmer. Like they're very witty. They're charming. So, it could be one or two things. This person is lying about Possibly. I'm not seeing the signs that they're cheating. But there's definitely somebody lying. This person is doing deception. Going behind your back. They're doing whatever it takes to get the job done. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, the advice card is the moon. Okay, you need to listen to your intuition because you know this person's lying to you and I have a feeling it's about money. Okay, this person's lying. Follow your intuition. What is the person lying about? What is the lie? What are they trying to hide? What is the deception? What is the deception? What is the deception? Oh my goodness. What is the deception? We have the High Priestess Reverse. This person's not honest with themselves. They're very cut off. You know, I feel like this person maybe have like postpartum. Or they just have a severe form of depression. Like they're just not intuitive. They're not happy because they're not doing... They're not doing the things that they want. They feel restricted. And they're agonizing over it. And there's fighting and quarreling going on in the household. Right now, there's going to be a lot of anguish. And you need to really listen to your intuition. Because some shady shit's going on. Under your nose. And you're going to find out about it. And it's not going to be pretty. But I think... Once you find out what that is, really take in the information, think things through, and weigh out on whether if it's something that, you know, is redeem workable or not. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do Gemini next. Okay, for August 15th to the 31st. Okay. Some of you may be dealing with a miscarriage. Um, like, it feels like a family bond is broken or you're not... There may be a point where... You would always kind of do like wifey things, uh, like always cleaning up after the house, you know, even if you have like, you know, like a family, like the kids never clean up after themselves and you just do it. You just do it for them. Um, you know, you're just kind of like, no, I ain't doing that shit anymore. Um... I feel like there's some sort of disunion within yourself. I'm like there's a blockage. We have the Earth Mother reverse. Yeah, you're not seeing the bigger picture. You're not yourself. You feel like whether if this is worth it or not. We have the five of wands reverse. So there's a lot of quarreling, arguing. I feel like other people are involved in this bullshit. Other people are interfering. They may be the cause of it. They may be even the cause of a breakup. I do... Hmm. Possibly family related or friendship related. And you're kind of, I think you're kind of at the point where you're like, you're done, you know? But at the same time, you're, you know what you want. You're grateful in one aspect, but you may go out and get it. We have the four of chalices reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get some clarification. So let me go ahead and get some clarification on the earth mother reverse. 
and the Four of Chalices reverse. So what's going on with my Geminis for August 15th through the 31st, 2018? What's going on? Okay, so the four chalices reverse for Gemini. Clarification. Come on, clarification. Come on. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Some of you are not happy. I'm going to interpret this two ways. It could either be you're not happy within work or you're not happy in a relationship, but I'm leaning more towards a relationship. You are disconnected from your partner or disconnected from yourself. And you are tempted. You're seeing the grass is greener on the other side. You and your partner are bickering all the time it's going in circles it's not going anywhere it's just infuriating and it's like in some aspect it's kind of like they belittle you they uh you know like they talk shit behind your back or they just say really vile things to you you know like verbally abusive almost you know and now you're saying the grass is greener on the other side saying like you know what you know, that guy that keeps on bugging me whenever I go in whatever, the store, is always asking me out, and I just always ignore him. But, uh, maybe I should give him a chance. We have nature. You're tempted. You're tempted. For some of you with work, it could be that you're tired of like you're tired of work drama and you're outcasted and that you see another business opportunity. You're thinking the grass is greener on the other side and you're willing to take a risk. And you're kind of like you really kind of like are done with this decision, like you want to jump through it. Um, I feel like whatever you do, you know. I think it's probably, it seems like it's going to be in your favor, whether if you're in a, in a relationship, it's not getting anywhere. It's probably borderline toxic. And uh, you're done. You want out. And I think you're just emotionally, I think you're ready. And you really have thought this through. I think you put some... You know, you put some thought into this. And I think karma is going to be on your side making this decision in your favor. We, sorry, we have the standing stone. So justice is going to be on your side. If there is some sort of legal thing um, that's going on, it's definitely going to be in your favor. Uh, maybe pertaining to custody with custody with children. But I do feel like justice is going to be on your side. So, what is going to be the outcome for this decision or this temptation that's going to be done? What's going to be, what's going to be with it? What's going on? Come on, Gemini's. What's going on? Clarification. Final outcome for this. Yeah. You're going to be walking out of a relationship to jealousies. Reverse. Yep. You're going to be done. You're realizing that, nope. This relationship is not worth it. Not worth it. 
not worth it at all. And you're done. You've made this decision. You really thought this through. You really thought this through and you're cutting the cord. You're done. You've emotionally detached yourself. You logically have thought this through and you're just like, you've checked out. You've mentally checked out. You emotionally checked out. You're done. You're going to be ending things. Things are going to be ended. And the outcome? Nine of Wands. Final outcome. Once you break up, things are going to be looking up Millhouse. Things are going to be going your way. You are almost at your final destination of where you want to be at. Uh, whether if this person was holding you back from work, this person's no longer going to be holding you back from work. Or your projects or hanging out with your friends, having a social life, uh, getting shit done. Things are in your favor. Remember that. It's going to be great. Okay. Now, this is going to be for Libra for August 15th through the 31st, 2018. I feel like this is a work thing or family. Things that you've been building up, you're kind of like a squirrel, how you've been uh, grabbing nuts and saving them for winter. And then so you can share your abundance, but you're restricted right now. You're hit a roadblock. There's been set setbacks. Projects that you're trying to push through. They're uh, not going through. And you're kind of like in battle mode right now. You're pushing through it. And you're working with people. People that you don't normally work with. And people that can be... A crowd of people that you're not normally used to working with. You're having to adapt. Whether if you're having to adjust to people's like mannerisms, how their approach on things, how they handle business. Maybe they're just annoying as fuck. It could be that they're just a total douchebag, total cunt, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. You know, you're pushing through and it's working in your favor. It's definitely working in your favor. So no matter what the setback, you're still pushing through and you're doing well. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's a trash person. Like this setback and you're charging through on full force, like you're attacking. It's Becky, the one with the long hair. This shady bitch. Like this is a lying, cheating, manipulative bitch that we have here. Shady, shady shit cards we have for you harvest reverse the bandwagon and the queen of wands reverse trashy 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 my train wreck basic bitch card that's what i have okay so let me go ahead and get clarification on the harvest reverse and the Queen of Wands reversed. So for my Libras, what is a clarification that I need for Harvest Reverse? Why is Harvest Reverse? Why is Harvest Reverse? And then why is the Queen of Wands reversed? So why is Harvest Reverse? Why is Harvest Reverse? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Only like three people are gonna get that. Because only 80s kids now. Come on. Harvest. First. Okay. And then Queen of Wands. Can we get clarification on Queen of Wands? Reverse. What's going on? What's going on? Queen 
the law in reverse. Okay. Some of you are unable to move forward with an issue. I feel like this is like a three-party situation where there's arguments going on. It could be family related. There is a conflict I feel with a, it could be like a mother, like an older sister. It could be a spouse. It could be for some scenarios, for some people that may apply, but I don't really feel like this is a romantic Possibly. Hmm. This could be taken in several ways. Either one, somebody at work. That bitch Karen at work. Everybody hates that bitch Karen at work. She be trying to throw you under the bus. Got the three... Of wands reverse. You're not moving forward on this. This has prevented you from moving forward. And you're kind of like in war mode. Maybe it was. Could be like it was like a work friend. Or like your like work husband or work wife. We all have one of those. Maybe they betrayed you. Maybe at work. They threw you under the bus. It pissed you off. Could be like a family member. It could be like a mom or a sister. There's a conflict going on. And they're... And you're not happy. Like of how they're handling it. Or how they've been treating you. Like they're throwing you under the bus for something. Or for a relationship. This bitch. Is fucking cheating. The reason why I think that it possibly for a relationship that may be the case is because for the reason for that is the Lady and the Lord. And that's usually a romantic card. I mean, the lover's card is not always taken as a room. So it could be either if it's like family or friendship, you know, this is going to affect your guys' relationship in that aspect. But if you guys, if this is pertaining to, for my Libras, there is a, a three-party situation, I feel, and you're going full force. And it's because this bitch is interfering in your relationship. So, what is going to be the outcome for this? For my Libras? How are they going to handle this? How, how are they going to handle this? How are they going to handle this? This conflict. What's going on, Libras? Libra, Libra, Libras. Clarifications. What's going to be this confrontation? How are they going to handle this shit? How are they going to handle this shit? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a setback for you guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to be a setback. Um, we have the Green Man Reverse. Usually this is like the Fool card. Yeah, it's going to be foolish. Either you're going to look foolish. This whole situation is foolish. This person's going to make you look like a fool. Like they bamboozled you. Like you thought this person was going to build a relationship with you, but they betrayed you. Maybe some of you were dating a fire sign and you found out that you're the other person and they're cheating on you. Like they're, like they're in a relationship or they're married and like you're the other person. Like you're the adulterer or the adulterate or whatever, you know, you're the mister, you're the mistress or whatever. Yeah. 
whole thing, it's going to make you look, it's the whole thing's going to be foolish. Like you're going to be bamboozled. You're going to feel, it's going to be set back. Like you're going to take this person back or something. Okay. The final outcome. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Chalices reverse. Yeah. You guys going to lose a relationship? Some of you may lose a job. Maybe somebody cheated at work. Maybe this was like an office thing. An office work thing. Had a fling. It didn't work out. It blew up in your face. Somebody cheated. Maybe you cheated. They cheated. You know, maybe you interfered in a marriage. Maybe you knew that this person was married and you interfered. Or maybe they lied to you and you didn't know that they were in a relationship. Or maybe you thought that they were like on a break or separated or divorced or something. But this person is ending things. So whatever what's going on, this setback, you're finding out or it just has transpired that this bitch is unfaithful and they're leaving you for this other person. You may lose your job because of this. It could be that it may affect your job. Like, it's like a work thing. Like, I feel like it's affecting your work, like... It's definitely a betrayal. It's like you're longing for this person. And this person's trash. This person's trash. You're trying to go after this person, trying to get win them back. They don't even want you. Like, why would you want somebody that can't be faithful to you, that leaves you for somebody else? Like, you are not a convenience store. There's no in and out privileges. And they're going to come back. And they're going to want you back. And you don't take them back. They're a garbage person. And I'm not talking about they're a garbage man. That's what they do for a living. Those are respectable human beings. And they provide us a great service. All right? They do things that nobody wants to do. I'm talking about people that are literally made of garbage. These are garbage people. All right? You're getting rid of this person. It's going to hurt. And it's going to take you back to zero because you have to start at zero. Because it is a fresh, brand new beginning for you. But you're going to be looking foolish because you're going to try to chase after this person. When you know in your heart and soul, you're wasting your time. Maybe your partner had an affair with their coworker. But yeah. And then final outcome, seven of pentacles reverse. And you're you're digressing. If you try to win this person back, like they're not gonna take you back. And you're trying to work, you're trying to force something that is not going to happen. You need to move forward. You definitely need to move forward. You're so much better than this. Alrighty then. Well, that will do it. That is for my air sign. So that was Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. That was for August 15th through August 31st, 2018. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, if this resonated with you, and if please like this, um, please like the video, and then please subscribe, of course. And uh, yes, hopefully uh, I get more followers and more people enjoy this. And uh, yes, hope you enjoy. Enjoy me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.